Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. That way you know all the Dream Teamers out there when we upload new content. Once again, you know how we do. We're getting right to it. Today we are talking about Kyrie's... <laughs> Kyrie Irving, man. You already know where we're going with this. Yeah. This week has been something totally different. You know, we know that people have personal issues. You know, we, daily life, we go through things. But the way he's handled things this week is something I've never really encountered it's as far as. It's the, the same ahead, thing that ahead. I've been saying all along. When we, when we did the preview about the season, that was the main thing that we were worried about with Brooklyn. It wasn't about their talent. Mm-hmm. Because when you can put... You could compare the talent between Durant and Kyrie, and then the, and then all the rest of the pieces that that the Nets have. We knew that that would be dangerous. Mm-hmm. The only problem was what the Kyrie effect. What is he going to bring to the team that's going to cause them to fail? And it did. <laughs> what we what eight games in? And he's already presenting this. Uh, first of all, it started when Durant sat out. Yeah. Why would you sit out the same time Durant sat out? That was the game. That was the first Memphis, one. Memphis, okay. Right. Now, th- he sat out, and then we found out that he's not playing. Didn't make sense to me. So Durant sat out, and then we found out Kyrie wasn't playing. That was the, that That's was the way before the other nonsense. Mm-hmm. This nonsense now, and. So we come get to this point here now where he's not playing. Durant is out on COVID protocol. Why would you not be playing? And the coach don't didn't know on the, for a national televised game. All right, let's walk it back. All right, they played um, Philly. It's Philly, right? So this is the game you're referring to. Coach hasn't heard from him. Reports come out that he's sitting out because of personal reasons. Now, let's start there. Personal reasons. He's an athlete, but I don't care if you have a max deal, a minimum contract. You are what? An employee. Right? This is business from, from the rip. Let's forget basketball. Can you call your job? Call you, can, can, you, if you got personal issues, you need to call your job, yeah, right? Check in, yeah. You need to, not, not your employees, but... Employer. Employer. That's because you abandoned your, your position. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, really? He, and then ro- today we find out that, oh, he, 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 he texts his teammates. That's the employees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I'm a supervisor on my job, right? Yeah. If, a, if, if someone is taking off, they need to call me. Right. Way that you can, the schedule, that whatever way needs to I be can, done, right. an adjustment that, take place. Whatever needs to be. Yeah. If you don't call me, there's charges that's going to be brought up on you. Whether I want to do that or not, it's the simple fact. Protocol. It's, and th- this is nothing new under the sun. Like, this, right, like I if mean, you got a job. No, I, 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 we got to take this step by step. Yeah, this, people this, to, if we skip through this, people are going to be like, what are they talking about? Why, why are you picking on them, right? We're we going to talk about. We're going to talk as if you're in this position. Everyone out there, we hoping during this situation you do have em- employment. If not, you have had it in the past. Even it if you don't have employment, this is the thing about <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Even oh, if you don't man. have, even if you don't have employment, <laughs> and you're on unemployment, mm-hmm. to get your check, you have to report to them every week, right? Thank God I ain't on unempl- on unemployment. Yeah, I don't know that but process. Okay. You have to rep- to get a check. You have to report to them. Mm-hmm. There's things that you have to do. Where it takes communication with them mm-hmm. to get that check. What if his job say, you know what? Uh, we have a personal problem, and <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna release your check this week. It's gonna be hell to pay. 
I don't understand. You having personal problems, with, which is causing you not to communicate? Yeah. Now, let. All right, let's walk it back a little bit more. We got to talk to the dream teamers and everyone else out there. Yeah. We're not saying that it's uncommon or even wrong to have personal problems. Everybody You're human. Yeah. That's that's life. Mm-hmm. And but what are those? Per- no, I'm sorry. But we, what we, are those personal problems? Because we, we all got know. personal problems, but yet we still go to work. <laughs> we do, we do. We have to go to work. Yeah, but you do gotta, at, you do gotta show some sense of empathy, like because we don't know what's. Not going when on. you don't communicate with me. Okay, I get you that. Not when you don't communicate. I get you. I get you. If you can have issues, and I don't need to know what your issues are, mm-hmm. but communicate to me that you have a problem and you will not be showing up. Yeah. Not. Right before a national televised game. Now, that's another key point. This wasn't the game. Now, granted, games are games, right? Right. And there's another part to this. He should He should be lucky that we are playing or they're playing in games where there are no crowds because you have season ticket holders who probably – or someone who paid money just to see that game. What Philly are you versus talking about, man? I paid Luke for the league pass. We, we, we're getting to that. We, we're getting to that. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're getting to that, right? Mm-hmm. That That's one part because I remember there was instances where players would sit out for low management, and the argument was people who have jobs spend their hard-earned money mm-hmm. to come see you play, right. and you're not there. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's one part of it. This game wasn't just on – local television, his market, the Yes Network, it was on TNT, like you said, a nationally televised game, right? right? Mm-hmm. Now you've taken away power, not to say that they would have done it, but maybe they could have pulled the game. And because it's, it is star power, right? It, it yeah. is star power, but the fact that he only let his coach, not even his coach know, his teammates know, his coach made a, a comment or a statement stating that he hadn't spoken to him, which right. that's another argument within itself because I don't know if he Well, he don't need a coach, so that well, we already know that. So uh, why would he call somebody that he feel that they don't need? And, and he, if he, to, he, 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 that's the respect Man. level right there. Right. That's the respect level. He already told us before the season start, me and KD don't need a coach. We can coach ourselves. And that's that's his thinking. Okay, so you want to disrespect the coach. You don't even look at the coach. But then, Sean Marks, the owner, nobody. None of that mean not, none of that meant anything to him. Well, at the end of the day, they didn't need a coach, but I'm pretty sure they handpicked that individual. Well, because you got to have who handpicked him. One of the two. Because you mean between him and Durant. But so since you handpicked him, you had finished it. Shouldn't you respect him? All right, that, that's another part of it. And so this is him and his, his personal problems or missing games is starting to balloon into something else that we already knew. That Kyrie is hard to defend him because he's starting to become a person or come across as an individual that just burns bridges. On even when he gets what he wants. But even on top of that, that's what you, you, you when you said that that it's hard to defend him. That's literally at the same time you you, you can't defend him when when he playing ball. And, and and that's we're not. This is the thing about Kyrie. It's not about his play, Never. unless we're talking about defense. But it's not about his play. The man is an assassin. This is not the first time he done this. This is what go unnoticed. We're both LeBron fans, so that made us Cleveland fans when they were together. After winning the championship, the following year, what nobody ever want to talk about is the simple fact that he went into the playoffs out of nowhere. Nobody know the reason still to this day. He was upset. With his and stopped speaking to his whole team right in the playoffs leading into the finals. That's the only reason why they got swept because Kyrie wasn't there 
although he was there. So he he had there mentally, was there he had a personal issue. With, and this was, we, we talked about this off air. Mm-hmm. And you was like, well, you know, what if we find out down the line that he has bipolar issues and we're coming at him like this? Well, I don't give a damn about no bipolar issues. Because if you got bipolar issues, then state it. I have personal issues that's going on with me mentally, and I need time. It's about communicating. I don't care what your issue is. You can have issues. But I'm not. You can have issues. You can have issues. Listen, this life and this world is way, like Kyrie said, it's other than just sports. We're not just athletes. They're human beings. And I understand that. But all other human beings have to let their job know that the, and their bosses know, the people that is paying them know that there's an issue that I can't come to do my job. So whatever reality he live in that makes him think he's a buck, this is the same stuff that we're talking about with Trump. He think he's above the law. Above the rules. And, and being that I mentioned Trump, rumor, rumor, I said rumors, because we can't say what it is because Kyrie haven't communicated what his issue is. So, mate, don't you think we should wait until he states what it is? No. Cause, because I think. No, because yeah. he give us room to speculate. Yeah, but, but I get that, but not showing up is enough. That, that, that. That's big enough. That that negative is huge enough to just dissect that. I'll leave it alone. Yeah, because you. I'll leave the rumor alone. <laughs> yeah, until he states what it is. But we. But he's talk- so petty that I want to mention what the rumor says because it sounds just like him. Yeah, it's a lot of rumors out there, but the fact of the matter is, he didn't show up to do what he was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. No, not even that. He didn't do it the right way because it's not what you do, right? It's how you do it. They went on to win the game. And it's so bad. No, they went on to win the game, but the problem is that we talking about that game, but he's still not with the team, and they played tonight and got bust by Memphis. Yeah, and it's uncertain whether or not he's going to show up for the OKC. My point, and they praying and hoping that KD be back by Sunday mm-hmm. as if he can, if he continue to have the negative, the, the negative results. From his test, he'll be back by Sunday. All right, so that that this adds another caveat, right? Dream Team, which I know is a lot that's going on within this subject. During the Eastern Conference preview show, I mentioned how the East is kind of not stacked, but no one is light years ahead of the next individual right. as far as teams go. Mm-hmm. So one, two, three, four games in the loss column mm-hmm. can make the biggest difference from yeah. being the second seed to maybe the fifth or sixth seed, right? Exactly. And he's throwing games away. Mm-hmm. Not Be- just games, but opportunities to build chemistry. Team morale. With his team, yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The Clippers found that out last year. Mm-hmm. You can't. That, it's the same thing as load management. This is unnecessary. Unless. If, 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 if there is an issue, it's, it's still about communication. That's it. But how many games will he miss? Well, judging from his career. He's always been banged up as far as uh, physical-wise. So now he's – when you say personal reasons, if he was hurt, it would be publicized because I'm assuming as far as, like, the betting and all that stuff goes, you have right. to put those things forth. Yeah. But now he's going into a whole different other dimension where he has personal problems. And that could take – when you're dealing with the mental, we don't know when he's going to come back. And when he does come back, his teammates are probably looking at him like, when is he going to pull this again? Mind you, this is after he came without Kevin Durant, went up in Utah. No, was it a, that was, it was that a home was game. A, that, was, that was a home game. But they played Utah, and Kyrie did what Kyrie does. Beat him by 30 plus, right? Yeah, and, and he had, he had, he, I mean, he, he put his stamp on that game. And, 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 and it made me say, whoa. Maybe he learned. And it took him less than 48 hours to destroy all of that. And it's because my problem with Kyrie is not a, about his play. It can't.
can't do. Because when he's on the floor, he's the, the boy is An different. Assassin. Man. And then the, the and, and, and as much as they he, he scream about Kobe, and Kobe don't do this stuff. That is not mama mentality. That is not mama mentality at all. That's mama's boys mentality, and that's strange because from what I understand from his history, he didn't even grow up with his mom. His mom passed away at a, when he was a young age. Sorry to hear that. That that got to be that had to be a lot on him. Out. You know, and so and I can he give him the bed through all of that. He's a champion. Why? Because he has a father that's there. No doubt. You know, and there's kids that come up with a lot less. And I know, I know that everybody's different. But he wasn't poverty. Stand up, man, and be a man. Don't touch the nonsense. Yeah, I. I I hope he gets it together. I'm not a Brooklyn Nets fan or anything like that, but you know the league was better when he. You might be a Brooklyn Nets fan. That's the problem. <laughs> you might be a Brooklyn Nets fan, but you will not put no. You was bigging up Kyrie when when LeBron came to Cleveland, back to Cleveland. You was Absolutely. right, but you figured him out then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we started off. As LeBron fans, but the assassin that he is could have possibly pulled us towards like, hey, look, Kyrie. No, but we saw that in him. We saw the hatred with teammates, the divide that he caused in the locker room. We saw that. All right, so we go that route. If we're going to go back to the past, and this is not a, a ther- therapist session. We're human too, once again. But at the end of the day, some people. Kyrie makes me feel like I need a therapist. (laughs) For real. Some people just have that, you know, the self sabotage thing with them. It's Mm -hmm. the common denominator. No matter where you go, there's an issue. It can't be everything else. And I think that's anyone who's willing to look at it with an open mind and not be a fan at the moment Mm -hmm. and see it for what it is, it just doesn't look good. You don't abandon. Bro. You have a max contract. Max. Now, and they haven't fined you or anything. That's the problem. You didn't want to go to the bubble. I bet you he straightened up and just said you hit his pocket. Yeah. He didn't want to go to the bubble because he was already getting paid because he was already, he, was, he, he didn't have to go to the bubble because he was out on the injuries. Mm-hmm. I get that part, but he was against going to the bubble. Sometimes I wonder whether or not he, for all the talent that he has, the assassin that he is, probably the greatest ball handler ever. He's clutch. But does he really want to play ball? That's the thing. He really have a never. And Duke, he never really played. No, he was uh, he banged up. He banged up all the time in Duke. Yeah. Won a national championship. No, no. He won, no. A, N- he won the NBA championship. He didn't win, no, a, he national didn't win a national championship. Nah. Right. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nah. So... I don't know, man. It's just Dream Team. Is this subject has me speechless because I don't really want to touch on certain things because when it's personal issues, you just I do, but I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be nice. I, you gotta I respect wanna, when somebody wanna, say personal issues you know, because these rumors. I believe the rumors. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Yeah. Because I I I I'm watched enough of this dude to know that he's petty. Yeah. Well, whether or not, well, 72 game season. We're about less than maybe 10 games in, a little over 10 for some teams. Don't take long. It'll expose itself as you move along. Mm-hmm. It, does he really want to be there? And we're going to wrap it up after, you know, I make a statement. You, you say what you have to say, but. I'm done. You're done? But yeah. this is, this will determine whether or not they can go to the finals. He will. Because it's not the roster. And, and, and the thing about it is I didn't know. From the from the baby that Kevin Durant showed me he was on the last part of his way with 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 West with um Warriors Golden State I didn't know I, and, and then understanding that they kept saying that they're best their best friends and they I'm like well you know birds of a feather flock together so he's got to be just like him you know what I mean but I really don't think so KD loved to hoop. Yeah, 
Yeah, he ain't gonna sit out no game. Nah. But he blown Achilles. Yeah. Because he should have sat like down because yeah. he wanted to hoop. Right. That's the thing. If, that's where it goes back. I don't and know. And if, if the Kyrie league allowed him to play for for the, for the, the protocol that he's out on, the, the COVID protocol he's out on, he still he would be there. He'd be hooping. Yeah. All right. So there you have anything else you need to say because I think we touched the guy. Just pay attention to the body language of Kevin Durant, his teammates, with Kyrie. Because the same way we feel, I believe that that's how they feel. And it's already divided. Now, Kevin Durant is real good. I think he's the best scorer in the league. But he can't do it by himself. He needs Kyrie Irving to show up and be there mentally. And the dude is mentally disturbed. Period. And I'm done. I don't know. I can't say nothing. All right. We'll leave it at that. Dream teamers, we appreciate y'all. Don't forget to hit the comment. You know, leave a comment. Engage with Please. us. We want to know what you think. Do you feel as though what he's doing is responsible? Do you think it'll have a uh, negative effect on the team? And tell us why. Also, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a note. Hold on a second. This is Brooklyn. I'm from New York. This is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I want to hear what you got to say. Yeah. You Brooklyn fans, y'all been hurting for a long time, and I know you was excited about this season. And to know that it's right there at the fingertips, but you counting on Kyrie Irving, leave some comments. I want to hear what you got to say about it. The fans, the Brooklyn fans. No doubt. You heard it here from the Big Hump. Once again, uh, hit the notification bell. That way you are aware when we upload new content. This is the Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my Big Hump, Al Tima. Y'all be good out there, all right? Much love.